Can AI revolutionize research? What does it mean for researcher, PhD students and the planet? Last Friday, I got to hear Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, answer some of the hottest questions about AI at a panel discussion at my University of Berlin. As we walked in, some students were handing out flyers protesting Altman's visit, calling him a Trump supporter and criticizing his stance on climate change. While the flyer added some tensions, most of people were there to hear about the AI and not the person, and the discussion didn't disappoint. They talked about how AI could supersize to research by taking over repetitive tasks, freeing up scientists and PhD students to focus on big creative problems. Here's what Altman said something on Monday called deep research. You can give deep research a query and it can go off and do a bunch of research on your behalf. It can do tasks that would take you like many hours, days, sometimes weeks. Then Professor Dennis asked Altman about AI's energy use and its impact on climate change. His response? The models are getting incredibly efficient. You know, if I would really say is we are totally screwed if we do not come up with new scientific solutions to address the climate challenge in front of us. We clearly have failed to do that fast enough on our own without AI. Let's try it with AI. The big takeaway? AI has huge potential to transform research and solve global challenges. But it is on us to make sure it's developed responsibly, transparently, and the most important, with the planet in mind.